Maria is a devotee. Rahmati was his last stay in the bed. When Erdogan and one of my colleagues from Istanbul Technical University visited him, Erdogan asked, What can we do for Bosnia? Maria hardly said that a university. And at that time, he was the mayor of Istanbul. And a company person, Vesel Erol, was the person responsible from the water sources of Istanbul at that time. And he was a friend of us from Istanbul Technical University. Erdogan turned to Vesel Erol. You heard, Hoca, go ahead. And Yazakov was head of the department in Istanbul Technical University. And Vesel er Erol was an assistant, an assistant professor under him. And he went to Nezatkov. They decided to set a foundation self, together. They found some uh, contributors from Bosnia and they started the foundation self. Then money is collected and construction is started. At the same time, there's a car called me and offered a position at this university. It was 2004, and I, I accepted as a dean of Faculty of Engineering and Natural Sciences. In 29th of May 2005, I arrived Sarajevo and started my position, first as an acting rector for a while, then as a dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Natural Sciences. It is our tradition when we arrive to a new country, we visit the most highest authority of this city, but not in administration, in religion. I asked, who is the Kutb, we call it Kutb, of the city? They answered, Hajar Hafiz, Haji Murich, Rahmetli. He was living on the Pehlivanusha Street, up Cathedral. We asked for an appointment. And at that Wednesday, we first prayed. Maghrib at the Masjid near to his house. Then, with his followers, we went to his house. It was a two stores house. First floor is stone, second floor was wooden, just like traditional Istanbul houses. And we are taken in the first floor. It was a large salon. Ajahn Sajimulic was giving Masnivi lectures once a week in this salon. And he was resting on the second floor since he is old. They went up and said, Third scale. And uh, the seating started, the seating of the, this floor is the floor of the second floor. 
the wolves started to trench. And he came round and appeared on the door. And we went and kissed his hands. He said, where were you for a hundred years of time? <laughs> I astonished him. Where were we for a hundred years of time? We couldn't find an answer. I said, but we're here now. He said, don't go back again. He refers to the year 1878, the Berlin Congress. And then after the Turkish-Russian War of 1878, Turkish armies beat it. And in San Stefanos, Turkey signed a very harsh agreement with Russia. Even in this agreement, Bosnia Herzegovina is given independence. And the Ottoman Empire lost most of his territory in Europe. And Russia entered in the Eastern Europe with this agreement. But the Europeans said, no. And they called a congress in Berlin. It was Sultan Abdul Hamid. And he wasn't known that after 20 years, the First World War will break and Ottoman Empire will get lost all territories. He doesn't know that. Because of human cannot know the future. And he offered Bosnia Herzegovina to austria Hungarian Empire and the Cyprus to Benito with similar conditions. At that time in Bosnia there was a Bosnian parliament, even a government. They were ready for independence. And the people of Sarajevo made demonstrations in Atmeida. So they have written on these pancarts that, oh, Parisha, if you want to please Kafirs, give Istanbul, not Bosnia. Bosnia is not your father's estate in Atmeida. But it doesn't help. Our Sengren army came through Savarijo. And Hajjavo Sahaja Mulic refers this event. Don't go back again. So it was a very bitter experience of the invasion of our Sengren army to Bosnia. <coughs> And I said, we will not go back. I did not promise for my name, for all of us. Then I visited Reisul Lama of the time, Mustafa Tzedic, in his office. He just very exaggerated too much. He said that the, the Mehmet II has come to this country. Now you are the Mehmet the Third. <laughs> I said, <laughs> the Mehmet, <coughs> Mehmet the Second was Sultan. Mehmet the Third is a servant of Bosnia. And so I said, we made some projects afterwards, and I tried to help him as well. So that is how this university is, came 
to this lens and have the, the rationale behind it to serve the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina. How far we succeed? You will uh, value this. But we will continue to try to serve those as a COVID. I am from Izmir, the Asian side. The most famous fruit in our region is the pig. What is the word in it? Smokva. Smokva. So, from childhood, we have the experience to deal with this victories. At the beginning, fruits are small, green, and uh, difficult to pick up. And it is not tasty at all. By the time, it gets red, sweet. See, when you pick it up, it has a very strong tie with the tree. It is difficult to pick it up. But when it gets more red, the relation between the fruit and the tree gets weaker and weaker. Eventually, even a wind blows and the fruit drop down. If you touch with a sting, stick, it drops down. This is the reminiscence of all people with the world. When you get older and older, your relation with the world gets weaker and weaker. Otherwise, the death will be so troublesome. You see it. Dying people, they do not struggle not to die. They obey, they surrender. So this is how we are created. Although when I met Fajambu Saji Bulic, my desire, my wishes to die in Bosnia Herzegovina and have a grave in Kosovo Cemetery. The time changed me as well. So we're in Bosnia, but my ties with Bosnia gets weaker and weaker in that sense. Now I am a fruit with the touch of a stick and fall down. So relations get weaker and weaker. Even personally, my ties with the world gets weaker and weaker. If I die right now here, I don't mind. So it's so weak. One of Sahaba asked Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Oh Prophet, I want to be loved. What should I do? And Prophet said, if you want to be loved by people, do not ask them anything. If you want to be loved by Allah, give a, a life which is uh, I mean, uh, the, the adjective for it is a life just in the eye. We only worship you and we ask only from you. A life like that 
You will not expect anything from the people. And believe it, this ain't life. If you want to be loved by Allah. So, I try to do same when I was in Bosnia and Herzegovina. But I couldn't succeed in it. I asked meetings from my friends around. And I could not live a decent life. But <clears throat> because of your generosity, I see that <laughs> I belong by my friends. William Bosna, William Sarajevo, William Ayes. Assalamu alaikum.